So today I'm going to be testing Catalina Crunch cereal, fruity. I'm going to test my glucose before and after I eat a bowl. Serving size, half of a cup. I'm going to eat it dry and then I'm going to test my glucose in one hour and 20 minutes. That's supposed to be the sweet spot when you hit peak postprandial glucose levels. So I just tested my blood. I just did a workout, just finished it about 10 minutes ago. So a little high, but 97. So that's my baseline. I've been fasting since uh, 10 o'clock last night and it's now noon. So I'm gonna eat this cereal. I'm gonna come back in an hour and 20 minutes we're going to test the glucose and see if the cereal works. Okay, so welcome back. So it's been about an hour and 20 minutes or so since I had a bowl of the Catalina Crunch cereal. Um, ate it plain without any milk. Um, and now we're going to test my blood glucose to see uh, how much it went up over the last hour and 20 minutes. So I'll do this on video here. I'm using the uh, Keto Mojo uh, device. Do a quick stick, get some blood going. Here we go. Ninety-four. So, if you remember when we started, um, it was ninety-seven. Um, it was probably ninety-seven. It's a little high for me. I usually run um, in the mid to low eighties when I'm um, when I'm fasting. And uh, but I just did a workout before I did. Uh, I tested my blood the first time. So it was a little elevated because of the workout, so it was at 97. But um, hour and 20 minutes later, after eating just a bowl of the Catalina Crunch, it's a 94. So it's interesting. So uh, it didn't go up, it, uh, it went down. So for me, um, Catalina Crunch worked. All right, thanks for watching.